firewood friends my name is Chris today we're in my wood yard got a load of wood in uh, this is probably about a half a load right here and I'm gonna start cutting it up a little while uh, this is bigger stuff I get a better deal because I buy some big stuff um, sometimes I buy the regular things too the regular smaller sizes which are good for processors which are easier to handle you know the stuff from 8 to 20 inches this stuff is probably 24 to maybe 30 inches there's some bigger ones in here um, but we're gonna cut a little bit today and uh, you'll see how I do things uh, I'm a guy that sells wood kind of part-time um, there are other people in the area that cut wood but uh, I sell out every year and they don't um, so I've got some things that I do that are a little different than most guys um, most of the wood I have that I sell is oak um, I cut about a third of it a year myself I cut uh, the two-thirds I buy truckloads and cut up like you see here uh, the stuff that I cut in my own woods my dad's woods my brother-in-law's woods um, we have uh, about uh, 60 acres or so that my dad has I cut some wood there I got a buddy that's got about 90 acres I cut some wood there uh, and I got a brother-in-law that's got about 150 acres I cut a bunch of wood there I mainly cut the dead stuff uh, the trees that are dead standing uh, some of the trees are falling over uh, trees that are uh, leaning over driveways where they want to get rid of them um, things like that um, and I cut pretty much anything um, like I said mainly I cut oak um, red oak and white oak um, I do cut a little bit of uh, other hardwoods too that aren't necessarily as good um, we cut some popple um, also known as aspen I also cut uh, box elder birch uh, maple um, a little bit of everything even some hickory in there uh, which is good wood um, most of the people I sell wood to have a, a fireplace and they're burning uh, on average about two to three face cords a year most of my customers that I sell to um, the average person that I sell to is not heating their house with it um, uh, there's probably about a hundred or so customers that I have that that just want for the ambiance or to sit by the fire on the weekend or evenings uh, and then there's probably about uh, anywhere from I would say 10 to 15 people I sell to on a regular basis that do heat their homes with it and they'll buy anywhere from eight face cords to as many as uh, 15 16 face cords um, and the wood that I have I cut pretty much starting in the late summer and then I cut through the winter and then I sell it the following winter so everything is fully seasoned for a full year pretty much um, when I split my wood down, I'm splitting it so that it's it's on average anywhere from two inches to maybe four or five inches thick at its thickest point. I do that because, like I say, most of the people are just heating uh, their single you know, living room or something like that, and what they're doing is just enjoying the fire. So they they're kind of actively enjoying the fire by getting up, putting some wood on. It's not like they're trying to fill it for an all-night heat like people that are heating in their house where they want all-nighters you know the big the big rounds or the big 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 pieces um, so that's why I have most of my pieces are cut and uh, split into a smaller size um, and then I'd like I say there's the few customers that I have that that are buying bigger pieces and they do heat with that so I, I keep that that wood kind of separate from all the other wood and I do dry that a little longer usually it's a year and a half to two years um, so I try to keep it somewhat separate. Um, so I'm going to do a little bit of wood cutting here and uh, you'll get to see kind of uh, what I do in my wood yard. I'll give you a little tour of the place, show you uh, how much wood I have, how I store it, how I stack it, and uh, go through the whole process. So here we go. Okay, so here's my wood and how I store it. Um, I'm going to kind of go around and show you how much wood I have. Uh, this wood right here I just cut from a couple trees that are just thrown, needs to be split. Um, but all my wood is stored on pallets as you can see. I like pallets because you get the airflow underneath, keeps it up off the ground obviously, keeps moisture from it. And I stack it, you know, obviously with the, the corners crisscrossed. And then I put tarps over the top with weight and I don't bring it all the way down, just leave it so that it's partially um, covered on the sides is to keep the rain off and I try to make sure I have valleys up in the top so that it can flow. I do uh, stack everything anywhere from six to seven feet high because when I load it in my trailer I need to f I know how much I need to throw in to fill it so I don't really need to pre-measure any of my wood um, like a lot of guys keep it in rows and they keep it so that uh, they know exactly how much they have. I know what I've got here total 
Um, but when I load, most of my times I deliver, I'm delivering one face cord, two face cords, three face cords, four face cords at a time. Uh, but you can see um, I got quite a bit of wood here. Um, this whole row here is uh, just the stuff that I have on the, the west side. Um, I've got a drive in, in between, I'll show you here, but you can see I got wood goes for, I don't know, I probably have 50 yards or so behind my building here. And then it comes around and I got uh, stuff done. And this is all oak, the stuff right here is just uh, a little bit of popple and uh, some, some other stuff too, kind of mixed in there. Um, as you can see, everything I have is pretty much all, I got rows in between, so I got spaces so the air can flow around it. I usually go like three, three wide like this. A lot of times I'll have, you know, stuff in between kind of going the other direction, but you can see everything's kind of on pallets. So that's just one section I have. I'm going to walk over to the other section here. The, uh, the wood is, uh, pretty much all about a year old now not quite uh, this stuff here and then we're gonna go over to the other side kind of where we started so I've got a drive that comes in between so I can have the trucks drive right in here and when the trucks come in they can just unload it off either side and then I can um, cut it up and stack it so here we got another stack you can see how I got the tarps on top and I got the, the pallets just another roll here um, Got some bigger stuff right here. This stuff, when I cut it and split it, it was bone dry already. It was standing dead wood that I cut, so I keep that separate as I go because I keep it bigger. Um, and you can see here we got more wood. This is all oak here too. This whole section. Last year I think I bought, uh, I think it was six or seven truckloads of wood. Um, and then I cut another, probably two truckloads myself and I've got a dump trailer that I can haul the wood with from the woods and I can um, just dump it and then split it and stack it. Uh, so this is all oak all through here around this side. Um, on the end here I've got some popple right here. There's some popple that I cut. And yeah, I sell the popple too. Um, this little pile right here is birch. Um, this I cut from just a couple trees. Um, we're gonna spin around and go the other direction out in the field out here. Um, out in this section over here, I've got a separate pile and I try to keep it separate because this is all box elder and maple and aspen. It's just all uh, hardwood, but not as good of wood as the oak. So I kind of keep that separate. And this is a pretty good size stack here. This, uh, this pile right here was, I think probably like about a week's worth. It took me to cut, split and stack it. Um, I can usually do a trailer load full when I buy a, a truck load of wood. I can usually process that in, oh, I would say about a, a week and a half on average. And I don't work at it every day, all day. I mean, there's some days I'll go all day long and then there's other days that I'll take off. Uh, this is what I just got done stacking not long ago. This is all uh, just kind of a mix of stuff here. Uh, this is, uh, uh, there's some box elder, there's some maple in here. Um, and there's also some some uh, popple in here and then starting right about where these green poles are here to the left this is all white oak I got all this for free uh, there was a big storm and a uh, whole bunch of trees went down and a guy called me up that I sell wood to and he says hey if you uh, you come and cut some of this wood here that's on my road my neighbors got down if you give me one tra trailer load full um, you can have the rest of it so I ended up getting I think four or five trailer loads full when I can get I can get about three and a half to four face cords at a time in my trailer. Um, this is all pine right here, jack pine. My dad had some trees go down so I cut all that. And uh, here's some more pine. I sell most of this for like campfire wood where people um, just want some fast burning, crackling, popping, snapping stuff. Uh, another pile of pine right here on this side. And normally this is all open through here. You'll see this later. Um, I cut a couple trees down uh, yesterday. I got to finish. Um, I got another couple piles here. And here's where I cut the trees down. Just a box cell that was leaning over everything. I want to get some more sun in here. And then over on this side, um, this underneath this pile right here, this is all locust I bought from a, a guy that brought it. Really nice wood. And I'm going to be splitting that real soon. 
and then I got another pile right here of kind of stuff that I got from another storm damage and this pile back you see over here this is uh, a pile that I got um, where I throw in all my pieces all my little stuff and it's all pr pretty much either a year or two years old and I got a guy that buys this I gave him a super good deal on it um, because he heats his garage and his house and he'll take anything and I give him a good deal on it. he's a real nice guy and he doesn't really care uh, what it is if it's even stackable I just back into his garage and with the trailer full and we tip it part of the way up and we shove it off in a pile in the corner and never has to stack it or anything so he never really has to handle it and I don't either which is kind of nice so here's the back side of the, the wood that I showed you originally that we're going to cut and then this pile over here is all this is all aspen right here uh, that I've got um, stacked here it's all covered and my pallet's waiting to uh, to be used um, so this all goes back here and uh, I use pretty much pallets but I got these things right here from a furniture store they're crates that they use for when they get furniture in and they make real nice uh, runners I, I stack two of them and uh, stack the wood on it so it keeps the wood off the ground so we're kind of back to the beginning here and uh, all, to, all together each year I have anywhere from 300 uh, to 350 face cords I think last year I had like just over 350 that I sold and I try to do that pretty much every year and like I said I just do it on a part-time basis I'm not doing it full-time um, I have two other businesses um, I'm actually a photographer that's my main business I do this in the wintertime because I'm not as busy uh, and the whole reason I got started with it is a few years ago well, about six years ago I was burning wood for myself and cutting for a friend and uh, when we uh, had extra wood I would just put it in a pile and uh, I ended up getting probably oh, somewhere between 30 and 40 face cords that I didn't know what the heck I was going to do with and I just had it piled up and I thought well man you know I should I should sell some of this so I put an ad on Craigslist and I sold it in a week it was gone and I thought wow there's there's money in this and back then I was selling it for uh, $90 a face cord with free delivery and the free delivery is the key um, there's a lot of people I have sell wood to they don't have a way to transport wood and uh, everybody else charges for their their delivery and I don't uh, I just build it into the price and by doing that um, I got a lot of customers that really appreciate the fact that I'll deliver it for them and yes I will even stack it and I do charge for it I charge $20 a face cord you'd be amazed at how many people are happy to pay it and I can stack a face cord and I don't think it even takes 10 minutes because I just back my trailer my truck right up to where they're gonna put it I won't carry it anywhere um, but what I do is I just uh, I just stack it real quick usually they got a, a holder or something that we put it in and uh, so yeah that's pretty much how it works and then when I um, deliver the wood uh, they're happy as, as can be and uh, believe it or not I get lots of tips um, a lot of people will will give me an extra 10 20 bucks just because they're they're happy and I deliver very fast usually same day or next day uh, it's not unusual on a weekend in the fall I'll deliver each day I'll deliver you know 12 14 face cords with my trailer and um, uh, now that now the, I've been doing this for about six years um, I charge $110 for a face cord of oak and uh, all the other hardwoods I get a hundred dollars a face cord and uh, that's pretty much um, what I do and it makes some pretty good side money doing it um, I've got four different chainsaws I use Husqvarna's I got the 576 XP's I got three of those and then I got a couple other ones too that I use um, those are my main saws I use 20 and 24 inch um, bars and chains because I'm not cutting out in the woods where I got to cut a lot of real big trees it's pretty much what works so anyway that's it for today here's the wood I've got to got to work on um, it's gonna be fun some big chunks here um, some of this stuff is odd sized crooked pieces and things like that but like I say I get a deal from it and then there's some there's some really nice ones in here too some really nice straight round chunks and this is some pretty big stuff here um, I'll be getting some regular sizes later on you'll see so that's it for today that's kind of a little bit about my uh, my little business I have here and we'll go more in details and how I do it and what I do and explain things um, as we go so anyway welcome to my channel and uh, like I said my name is Chris and we're leaving the wood yard and uh, it's time to get cutting.